Bob Rules brings you a Necromunda unboxing, starring Gary and Ted. So you excited, Gary? Absolutely. Oh my Can't gosh. wait. So you play uh, Deloc, right? Correct. That's your, that's your jam? That is it. So um, are you going to port them in, you think? Like, are you going to... Are, I am. Are you excited? I'm going to bring them in. They're yeah. painted. They're ready to go. I will probably get the Goliaths uh -huh. as well. That was another original gang of mine. Yeah. Uh, and just, I got the Deluxe already. So So did you buy them, like, brand new, like, in, like, the, the, the styrofoam box and everything? Yes. So, they were in the styrofoam yeah. box, like... Brand so this is new. like a time capsule for you. Like it is a little bit, yes. Old time capsule means new time capsule. Yes. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so here we have it. The Necromundas. Ah. Yes, this is it right here. And and you said that you were looking at this yesterday, right? Yes. I, I'm going to find like your biomatter on here, aren't I? Uh, I have, like, it's possible. Like a black light? And run maybe over. maybe <laughs> that, that might not be the best thing to do. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I, I know they have the contents right here, but what are you kind of expecting? Like, what do you think your, the, your, your peak is? Things um, are going to be in this I, I think the mechanics of the game, yeah. I want to see what they've done with it. Uh, the post-game sequence is okay. going to be big. I think that's going to have a change, mm -hmm. um, hopefully for the better. Okay. Smooth it out a little bit. It was a little drawn out before, I think. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah you yes. saying, saying that there were, uh, you, you, your injuries happen in-game, right? Correct. There, so there's new oh, dice in there that they didn't have before. Um, you roll for injuries Maybe as right they... There. Those might sure. be it. Be <laughs> um, you roll for injuries as they happen, so your, your guy can just be pinned. Um, take a wound or go completely out of action. Templates. Templates. And the, they're orange. They're That's Halloween cool. themed. Exactly. <laughs> We're a little past that, but you know. That's all right. That's, next yeah, year. It works. So, so just delay watching this video and buying the box until next year, <laughs> and you'll have Halloween themed templates. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> templates are back. Well, uh, I'm really excited to see these uh, Halloween templates, so why don't we just bust into this and Absolutely. Get right to it? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, Gary. Get the shank. Uh oh, let's do this. Let's what? do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Slice it. Cut, cut. Ah. Oh, man. Rich flesh. <laughs> there we go. Um, cool. So, let's one, break it two. Oh, dirty oh, party oh, smell. Oh, smell oh. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those bright, shiny templates. There they there you are. Go. Those are what you were looking for. Classics. They are super orange. They haven't changed a thing. They have They're orange. That you know, I would awesome. love to see like a website just dedicated to like the different colors of templates that they've made over the years. You know, right? <laughs> like the clear ones. Now we got orange. And It'd be red. like that collector out there. Like I have to have them all. Exactly. <laughs> Is it still on sprue? <laughs> I love it. My, my. This is cool. Yeah. Wow. So what should we tackle first? I'm really attracted to those gangers. The, the gangers are looking really cool here. Yeah? Uh, it looks like they got the Escher on top. I don't know if they got Escher and okay. Goliath so, here, so... Like, is it the same sprue doubled, or is mm -hmm. it... Let's see. Might be. Maybe. Okay, so it looks like two similar sprues, and then probably the same thing with the Goliath, right? Probably. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay. So, they look very similar, yes. Oh, all looks right. Looks like it. Okay, so you were saying that, like, the... Um, they're gonna have like fuller gangs. Like if you buy the gang itself, it's gonna be a larger. Uh, I, I'm not sure the number of models, but they are releasing a separate gang box. Oh, okay. Um, that I believe with the release of Necromunda itself. Okay, so, so I'd be curious to see if they just give us like if they give us more of these sprues, if it's just like three or four of them, or maybe. Yeah, I'm sprue? not sure. But oh wow, these plastics look really good. Yeah. So let's take a look at those Goliaths. Like, what do you what do you see in there? Uh, lots of weapon options. Okay. Which is great for Necromunda. Uh huh. Um, and just really well done. I'm seeing a lot of small parts on there. Like this. Let's take a. Yes. There's the heads are are pretty small. Looks like there's a lot of different options. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks like the faces are separate from the heads a little bit. Is a that you saying bit. that too? Yeah, there's, uh, there's the mohawks are actually separate pieces here that look like they go into the back of the the face oh, piece. Oh wow! I see, I see some that like a was the one that looks like a, a saw blade. Yes, <laughs> that's yep. awesome. Okay, that's and then the interesting. Traditional mohawk there, and I'm not sure what's going on with this one here. This looks strange. Which looks like a, looks like oh, there's okay. metal surrounding the hair or yeah. something. Oh, bizarre. Very weird. So he has armor for his hair. Yes. My yes. hair is precious. They, Keep it nice and the Goliaths <laughs> do have good armor. That is one thing they do have. Okay. Oh, my gosh. 
So um, I'm seeing like uh, separate chess pieces. You could uh, put alternate chess pieces on them. Yep. There's a lot of options on here, really. These are very these detailed models. Oh, check out that. There's like an armor piece with a, uh, uh, what is it, like a muff? Where is it? It's on the corner. Um, oh, right oh, here. Right yeah, here. Okay. I love that. So what it has the, the chin guard built into his chest piece. Is that, oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> almost looks like a respirator kind of deal. Yeah. Which it's is a, necessary in the underhive. <laughs> if you have a respirator, then it's double respirator. Mm. Yep. You need a respirator for your respirator. <laughs> It gets really dank in this Always quarters. have a fail-safe, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so I'm also seeing, uh, what was it, there's a grenade launcher, um, underslung grenade launcher. Uh, that reminds me of your Plague Marines. Oh. What's the thing called? The Blight the Launcher? The Blight Launcher. Oh, wow. Yeah, there, this is a grenade launcher. I do remember reading about that in the yeah. White Dwarf, the battle report. Okay. Um, it wasn't very successful in that oh, battle report, but sad it has launcher. potential. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at something that looks like a, it has like a big disc thing on it. Let's see, where is it? Uh, it's right next to the muffler. Um, oh, where did it go? Okay, right there. What is that? I'm not sure. Uh, there are some new weapons with okay. this re-release of yeah. Necromunda. Um, some of them I'm unfamiliar with, so maybe that will be in here somewhere. Okay. We can find out what that is. Wow, so I'm seeing a, a, a combi plaz pistol. Yep, there's some <laughs> stubbo shotguns. Okay. Uh, looks like some grenade options. Um, this looks like a wrench of some sort, so, I mean. Oh, uh -huh, so you have a spanner or a, a. Yeah, something like that. So it's a bludgeon, is kind of what it is, right? Is it the big uh, um, pipe wrench looking thing? Yeah, is that what you're yeah, yeah. Okay. So they have some makeshift weapons, but I mean that's probably part of it too. Is like these guys were miners, weren't they, or something like that? It was, well, was their you just to the Goliath? you, you got to use what you can find yeah. sometimes. <laughs> and maybe this worked for him, so he's sticking with it. Oh man, I can see like you know one of the things like I want to start a like a like a mining kind of uh, uh, army, you know, and I really like the idea of like the gene stealer cults, but I don't like the gene stealer aspect. So something like this could be like the uh, was the aberrants and stuff, like the big mutated guys. Uh, like, what are those guys called? I'm drawing a blank, but I'm sure it will come to me. Okay. Which is guys with like the big shock hammers and stuff like yep. that. Mm. So this, yeah, this would probably slot over really easy with the uh, Gene Stealer cult. Yes, some of those bits and pieces could probably work very well for these guys. Oh, I love all those face options. They look mean. <laughs> I love it. Yes, there's a lot. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, so ten total. Okay. Uh, gangers, it looks for each. Cool. All right, so what do the sisters have? Let's see. Escher. Ooh, lots of uh, very small, very oh, thin no. pieces. Oh, their faces. Their faces wow. are very small. It kind of keeping with that same motif where the hair is separate from the face. Like, they have the mohawk, they have the different hair, and then you slot the face in there. That is correct. One, two, three, the one four, thing five, I, five, I six, found seven, kind of nine. funny about the Escher. Uh, in the battle report, they <clears throat> call their shanks stiletto shanks. Oh, okay. so it's a, it's a weird name for it. I guess it works. They're you know they are females in the underhive, so <laughs> the stiletto shank. Interesting oh, choice of weaponry there. So I'm seeing is this a there's a chem launcher? Is it like that, a, you yep. see that? Okay. I wasn't sure if that was like smoke coming out or if it looks like chemicals. Of some yeah, sort. it's a chem launcher. They do have that. That's that guy right there. Yeah, this is, uh, they're really animated. I, I love that about this. This is a very animated uh, war band. Very, very animated. And the weapons are well done. I just love the way that all the detail on these plastics are coming out nowadays. Look at those LAS rifles. I think there's like a LAS rifle kind of, uh, where is it, right here? Yep. And then there's a pistol right there. And it has like this nice like classic like Rogue Trader-ish. Like if you remember the old uh, the Guardsmen and stuff with like the long awkward barrels. Yep. And, and the old, um, uh, when uh, Eldar had LAS rifles and stuff. Absolutely, I yeah. harkens back, it's cool. LAS guns are big in this this game, uh, especially for Escher, that's their, their go-to weapon is LAS guns, LAS pistols. Okay. Uh, so they're, they're actually, I think they're more effective in this game than they are in like 40K. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I like there's a, was it a bolter with a needler underneath it with like an eye on it? You see that like right next to the faces right here? Oh. It's got like this, like that's hieroglyphic. <laughs> right? That's different. Oh. 
I'm not sure. Okay, that's the arm. I was like, what is that attached to? But it's the arm off the back side, so. I wonder oh. if you can even see that once you assemble the model. Oh, yeah, okay. I see. Okay, yeah, it looks like that, uh, right, the butt is gonna, it looks like it probably attaches to the hip. And so it's just gonna be like barely, just a nice little subtle detail. Okay, yeah. I think she's probably kind of putting it off to the side. Yeah, the angle. Like just holding it. So yeah. it looks like all the detail will be really easy to get to painting these models. I think assembly could be tricky with these heads. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely be careful clipping these heads out. Oh gosh, yeah. They're you so really tiny. Clean them. <laughs> yeah, well, they're just so tiny. If you clip uh -huh. them and you're not holding them right, they just launch off mm. maybe or something, and drop it in the carpet. <laughs> This is one of these armies that, like, you know, almost like with the uh, Skatari and stuff, like, I would hate to put them in a, you know, in foam, you know, like, just afraid that, like, any breath is going to, like, break them, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Catch it in the foam as you're trying to pull it out and yeah. break apart. So fiddly. Yep. They're not quite as uh, beefy as the Goliaths here, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Beautiful, cool. yeah. Love it. So bulkheads. Now this is like really harkening back old school. I mean the design and everything. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. So it looks like one of each piece. So let's take a look at this one first. So these are uh, just standalone pieces, from what I understand, looking at the the game and what I've researched so far. Um, bulkheads. Are these the doors? You said like people could walk through and get smushed. And I, stuff? I believe so. I believe these in the game, uh, in the board game itself, count as doors that will also potentially close on you oh, while you're wow. trying to move through them. Okay. Um, there's also cards in the game where you can booby trap them. Oh. Okay. So the first time an opponent goes through one, it automatically tries to shut on them. Oh. So. Now, I'm looking at this real quick. Uh, see how there's a slot. I'm seeing like some slots uh, showing up on the top side. Here, let's flip this over. Okay, not so much this one. This one, it looks like it kind of has a possibility to add like a second level, level to it or something, you think? You know, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these pieces here are for. Um, I'm wondering if they are uh, to stabilize the pieces, make them stand up, or, uh, platforms that the, the pieces maybe glue into. Um, Yes, 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 yes. So right here, oh, okay. there's a little nub that sticks out that uh -huh. would fit that, and then that allows them to stand up on their own oh. as area terrain, line of sight blockers. Cool. So then uh, here's some scatter terrain, right? Correct. Objective oh. markers and scatter terrain. <laughs> Yeah, that's an interesting piece right there. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, they're listed as accessories right here. They show some like ammo crates maybe, um, and then just some random area terrain pieces as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. I gotta see the uh, the rules on that. Like, grabbing gangers, bring them down on like a narlock pit or something. Right. <laughs> With Boba Fett screaming. <laughs> Where'd Carl go? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So then it's. One of those canisters, if you could pick them up, maybe in the game, or maybe they're objectives for a mission. Or? They very well could be. Um, okay. Yeah, they just list them as. I guess you could technically put them in the crates. Leave okay. the crates so they open. Oh, no, I, uh, oh. I think you know, even if you don't play Necromunda, I think like some of these accessories like just look awesome. Like I would love to just have a set of this just for 40k or something. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, Scatter train. Oh nice. That's really. Kind of cool, actually. You got some weapons in the crate, so that's kind of an incentive to almost leave the the top right off of it, or maybe <coughs> glue it on at a, a angle like it's been knocked off or something. Yeah, so you can see the the detail inside. Exactly, you kind of know what's in there. All right, so here we have the instructions on how to put these guys together. Um, what are we seeing here? I don't want to spend too much time looking at this, but. Just different options for building uh, the different gangers. There's an old style uh, plasma pistol. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think we saw that with the uh, Horus Heresy boxes. Looks like they're all named uh, character gangers and, and characters already. They look brutal. They are beefy. Those guys are definitely going to be a lot of fun. I think just building them is going to yeah. be a ton of fun. So you're going to move away from the uh, the lock a little bit and get a oh no no, no I, I will have both <laughs> your babies I, right. Well, the the deluxe are ready to go and yeah. they're ready for for battle. So these guys will be a work in progress. Oh, Gary, check this out. Themed bases. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so these are kind of like the ones that they've been releasing in the the separate kits. That's so cool. I'm. Gonna go out on a limb and say those are for the Escher, <laughs> these are for the Goliaths. <laughs> I understand. So you'll be able to, to pick these up 
uh, at some point as well. Oh. These are neat. So, uh, these, are these separate from the uh, the themed ones that they had for Shadow War? Uh, Shadow War didn't have any specific. I think you could buy them after the you fact. Could buy them, like it was an after uh, deal on those, but they just came with the regular black bases for those. That is awesome. So this is really cool. Just more to paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. So what are we up to? You were really excited about this dice, dice yeah, right? Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what they've done with these dice here. Um, okay, so they're in bags, inside of bags. Okay. Um, so, oh, here we go. These are what I was looking at. So these okay. are the new dice that are used in-game for mm -hmm. uh, sustaining injuries. Injuries now happen in-game okay. instead of post-game sequence. So you know wow. right away if you're losing a ganger or if one's going to be crippled or yeah. whatever. Um, sustained fire dice, okay. because that's the thing. Um, oh, yeah. Again, So before it was like, I think they had what was like two, four, six, eight, ten, or whatever, and then like Correct. misfire. Yep. And so now it's different. Like, what, what do you think that does interpret? Uh, well, without... Um, just make it looks it up, like Gary. a scatter. It's okay. we... Scatter, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then the number of shots. So this looks like a, you get three. I'm not getting it. I'm only getting it before you hear it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's what they've done. So it looks like the yeah. sustained fire weapons can fire either three rounds, okay. two rounds, or one round. Oh, okay. That would be my guess just looking at the dice. Okay. Those are really cool. Yeah. And then the skull on there, which is nice, mm -hmm. that indicates a death in oh. the game, I believe. All right, how many skulls are on there? Hopefully just one. <laughs> I, I would hope just one. So it is just one. Okay. So the skull, I believe, means death. Uh -huh. um, the broken bone is an injury. So it looks like three of those. And then the blood drop is a flesh wound. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I'm always afraid in 40K, like, you know, when somebody comes to save you because it doesn't usually end that way. <laughs> like, right. Oh, look, an apothecary from the Blood Angels chat. Ah, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then, yeah, just regular dice. I'm uh, guessing that is, so that's a six. Okay. Stands for a six on those. Uh, and I can only guess that yellow is for one game and black is for the other. I don't know okay. if it's specific. Oh, so this is cool. This is just a generic scatter dice. Not to break away from what you're talking about. Oh, no, no, that's, okay. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the grenade launcher, uh -huh. be my guess. So, very basic dice yeah. right there, other than the skull on them. I, I love that it kind of looks like the uh, the Misfits logo, you know, <laughs> from the old punk band. I love it. Nice. Big bulky that's, dice. It's a six. Cool. Awesome. I, I would get this just for the dice almost. I mean, just having that cool gas mask logo. <laughs> right. The, the dice are a nice touch. Yeah. I like how they, they went two different colors with them so you can have one set for one game, one set for another, and just kind of go from there. Sweet. Okay. So, the board tiles right here. Plastic bags for a weed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lots of uh, cardboard pop-outs there. So let's nice. Get the shank, the stiletto. <laughs> Take a look at this here. <laughs> All right. So I'm certain these are for the board game part itself, uh, keeping track of different things. Okay. They're double sided. So, so we have, if you're set on fire, it looks like on the other side there is, uh, what is that, like on guard probably or something like that? Maybe this is like for Overwatch okay. or something. Um, flesh wound perhaps? Yeah, this may be a flesh wound. Okay. Uh, maybe objective marker of some sort uh -huh. or something like Full that. Head. I'm wondering if this is, uh, Oh, it has yeah. something to do with. Uh, I bet that's an Overwatch thing. Maybe like getting your angle. Maybe that's your, okay. your field of vision for yeah. shooting. Maybe, okay. So 
it's, it's kind of nice like not knowing so we just like make stuff up and right nobody can really call us on it for another like two weeks <laughs> I'm, just, I'm curious is because there's two blood drops on oh, this side so versus injury. one so yeah it's like is that like oh. he's really really messed up Are there or wound markers maybe i don't know if the uh the, i don't know if they have multiple wounds or not oh, okay. they didn't previously so and then all the different tiles oh. for the board game it itself good. These look actually really nice, and I believe, yep, they're double-sided, so you can change it up every time. I don't know if they have different you know, effects to the sides. I was kind of thinking that these might just be like burned passageways, like there's holes through the ground, so, you know, if you like melt it with that chem launcher or something, but like looking at these, like it's starting to validate that a little bit. Maybe, Maybe. That, that could very well be. I just like the, the very bright green they oh, yeah. on the side. Very uh, nurgly, so we're okay <laughs> with that. Death Watch guy. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Death, Death Guard guy, guy yeah. yeah. Love it. These are really well done, I think. So you think you might like mod some uh, a ganger unit up as like a Nurgle tainted? You know, get your Nurgle tainted Goliath or something? Um, they got a lot of gas masks, that would be pretty easy. Maybe, yeah. there's there's some options there for sure. Count as Goliath. <laughs> right, absolutely, yeah, that, that might be an option. I really like, I wonder if it's in the, for this board game part of it, if this is specific to like certain like effects of the game that happen. Oh, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, a mission for it or like a special rule for that. Exactly. Yeah, and then you got your corridors that they can move through. Uh, I think like this would be like rooms that you can move into, okay. capture yeah. objectives, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of neat. I mean, for the for those people that love their board games, <laughs> this would be a good one to get. Oh yeah. I love it, like, well, each side, like, you know, there's, like, the clean side, and then, like, the after the battle, after the ride. Right. <laughs> well, and it's it's great, too, because you can you can go both ways with this uh -huh. um, when you're setting up your game. So oh, yeah. you, you got your corridor. This one maybe comes to a dead end or okay. something there, but, so yeah. It's, it's keeping the whatever it is that happened in the center, so it's like you have that uniformity of the edge. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's really, really well done. Those are really cool, and just more of them. You get. Uh, I like to think of this as like an algae pool, uh, and they're just like really trying to like re-terraform Terra, or I guess it would be Necromunda. <laughs> Necromunda, yeah. No, that's yeah, absolutely. There's yeah, a ton of these the tiles here. The I back. think there's ten of these. Oh snap! Uh, and they're all all just slightly different. Okay. So, okay, just it's uh, I mean, impassable each, each maybe. Each one's different, but then yep. more of the same stuff. The, the roofs collapsed here. So maybe you can't get through there. So that could be a kind of are involved. Yep. Well, and this one's got. <laughs> oh. oh. That's well, a weird marking. Yeah. What is it? The uh, Sons of Osiris or whatever. There's Something. Like a mega chapter. Yeah. So that's kind of different. Secundus. Oh, okay. It looks like a car for a second. It looks like a door. It's a door. Somebody's <laughs> laid down to <laughs> cross that giant pool there. Oh, a little oh. melted floor space. Yep. So the floor is just kind of gone right there. You so know, I'm, I'm, what I'm really excited about is to see like what people make up. You know, like each time like somebody uh, they create like a box like this, like you know the creatives, like the art, like the people come out and start like making their own. You oh know, yeah. Like terrain and like Absolutely. that's what I'm really excited for to see like what people do. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see just uh, what they've done for this aspect of the game itself, like how it plays out. I might have okay. to actually try that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then the last one there. Ooh, oh, cool. So that's like a giant pit right there. So, I mean, that could have a mechanic where your guy can fall off there yeah. and disappear into a deep, dark hole. It would be kind of fun. And, uh, you know, this is for those people that have nothing better to do other than buy multiple boxes of this. <laughs> but get the tiles, like, cut out, like, some of the areas here and, like, make the, the pieces, you know, like, three-dimensional. So oh. you actually have, like, you know, like, a space where you could fall down. Actually, it looks like the... Empty space. spaces are the same on both sides. I wonder if that's the case with both of these. I hadn't noticed that. Oh, uh, no, that one's different. Nope, that one is okay. a little different. Although it looks like that was supposed to be this before this collapsed. So this is kind of, wow, it's almost like one's a corrupted side. Yeah, Ooh. like maybe a before battle, after battle kind of thing. Like, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at these guys real quick. Before all right, we yeah. Rules, I'm, I'm excited about those, but all right. 
Uh, All right, shank me. <laughs> oh, you're good. Oh, oh, you're good. You, you started. You got it started. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. It's saving my ego. <laughs> All right. Whoa. That is a lot of cards right there. Okay, it looks like we have a few different things going on here. So we have your blank dangers. Oh, this is dope. So, and then it looks like your characters, right? Yep. And then... Counter charge still. Da, da, da. What is all this? Escher tactics. Yeah. Tactics? Yep. There's different tactics, and like I said, there's booby traps. Um, I don't know how you determine like how many of those you get in a game. Um, yeah. But these tell you a lot of different things. Uh, I don't know how many different. So Goliath tactics, Escher tactics, and then gang tactics. So huh. three different kinds of cards. Um, blank ones here. For keeping track of your gangers, yeah, that you create yourself. Gangers, you create yourself. So Bob the Goliath. Yep, and then we got looks like should be two. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so should be twenty of them. Yeah, there's twenty okay. of them. So you got the ganger or the Goliath right there, okay. all their cards, and then the Escher. Um, these are all. The ones that you would use with the tiles for the, okay. the board game itself. So movement, weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness, wounds, initiative, attack. So it looks like a lot of the same 40k stuff, plus they brought initiative back. Yep. And then leadership, uh, was that clarity? Or what was CL? Uh, will and intelligence. I'm not, yeah, I'm not completely sure on that. But yeah, the will and intelligence. So they, they brought back a little bit more than like the current 40k uh, characters would have as far as the stat line goes. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, I love to see rules. I'm, I was really excited, <laughs> like to see more stats. You know, like well, kind of harkening back to the old days. This is great too for somebody maybe that's not played before that wants to play. They have an idea of what their their characters are going to look like mm. when they start putting their gang together. Yeah. And then of course they give you a lot of these. Actually, I'm really surprised Dope. at how many of these. Well, considering how often like gangers died in the game, that's awesome. You're that's, gonna need those. That's true. <laughs> Matter of fact, um, you might need a dry erase marker. <laughs> that would be a good way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Or a mechanical pencil. <laughs> yeah, you know? That's right. That's that's probably the best way to go. Gosh, yeah. I remember just like people, you know, like I, I invest a whole lot in one character, and then she loses a limb, but you know, then she loses an eye. I think a bionic eye. You're know, like you're constantly changing. Changing your, stuff. Yeah. yeah, changing their weapons um, and their skills. So they got to spot their skills and their war gear, uh, okay. so you can list everything out. Now I don't know if this is like the max that they can have for weapons, mm -hmm. but it only lists you know available slot for four different weapons. Oh, okay. So maybe that's a thing in the game as well. Um, cool. Before you used to, be able to put weapons in a stash. Yeah, that's right. They just kind of they make a recovery roll for each injured fighter in your game, treating out of action results as seriously injured. So I mean that just that's probably a one time kind of use is what I'm guessing with these. Um, and these are definitely Goliath. Uh, tactics here. Yeah. Stim surge, like they, they do rely on a lot of like crazy drugs down oh. there in the underhive. So uh, brutal <laughs> charge. Just these are these are probably a lot of fun. I don't know if they have any place in the uh, the style of play that I'm used to. You okay. know, with the 3D terrain. Oh levels yeah. And not the, the board game. These might be specific. Who knows? Okay. Well, that's a neat like that's a neat dynamic. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of cards here. I'm, I'm just. Yeah. So we're seeing I'm a little bit of Shadespire, perhaps, in, in the game. Yeah, I'm amazed at how much stuff is in here. Like, this yeah. is, so far, this has been amazing. And these are just straight up gang tactics here. Uh, play this card when one of your fighters is taken out of action by an enemy fighter's attack. For the rest of the battle, you add one to the result of any hit rolls for fighters from your gang when they target the attacker. Mm. So, this is very specific. Like, yeah. you killed Bob, we're coming after you. Like, oh, okay. Everybody's targeting that one enemy. And, well, this is tuck it under the attacker's fight card as a reminder, so you know that oh, that's, that's the one you need to go after. <laughs> so that's, cool. that's I, cool. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the book. I don't want to put too much effort in it because, I mean, we, can't, we didn't do an entire video on that. But, uh, yeah. Plastic is getting the best of me. Here. <laughs> there we go. He's got a shank. <laughs> there we go. Brute strength. Uh, 
beautiful. Oh. oh, is this the quick quick reference guide is what it looks like? Those. Actions. Shoot, aim, charge. Oh, charge is a double action. So that's what you were saying, that there's like uh, two actions basically per yes, activation. Per activation. Uh, so take cover, coup de gras. Uh, is it the finish him? Oh, is that when they uh, stop people when they're down? I believe so. A fighter making a charge action who ends the move within an inch of a seriously injured enemy and not engaged with any other enemies can make a coup de gras action instead of making a fight action. Mm. So yeah, it sounds like he just kind of stomps them out. Reload. There's a lot of different little actions. Crawl through ductway. Oh, wow. So it looks like those are the two uh, doubles, is charge and crawl through ductway, right? So that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I like how oh, they made oh, a little cheat sheet here. Yeah. Engaged fighters fight. Uh, Retreat. That's different. Okay. Pin fighters. Okay. Crawl is a double. So I'm guessing okay. that's if you're maybe if you're pinned mm -hmm. and you don't want to get back up. So you make a half move. Blind fire. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Subtract two from your hit roll, so you're definitely being penalized for that. Yeah. Maybe just. That's a double fire though. Like that's throwing your arm up over a, oh. a barricade yeah. and just firing away. <laughs> Okay, so close combat. Uh, so we have shooting modifiers in partial and full. Okay, that's cool. They delineate those. Accuracy modifiers, whether or not you're engaged or prone. Um, let's see, close combat sequence, turn to face, pick. Okay, so facing is a thing again. Choosing your weapons. So if you have multiple, like, close combat weapons, a sword or a knife or a stiletto shank, uh, that's you right. can choose your weapon. Uh -huh. Probably based on the number of attacks you have. So determine attack dice, declare targets, make the hit rolls, resolve hits, enemies make reaction attacks, consolidate. Uh, All right. So you get an extra dice if you have a dual weapon. Okay. Oh, yep. That would probably be a, a result of having a skill that allows you to wield two okay. hand hand weapons. Charging, you get a bonus for, which is kind of cool. Resolving hits, make the wound, opponent uh, makes a save, resolve injury. Okay, so then there's uh, a strength versus toughness for your wound roll. Yep, which this looks very similar to like 40k, which they okay. said there were going to be a lot of similarities. Oh, so is twice the strength, is the, the greater, is equal, is lower, is half. Okay, that's, that's smart. So we'll, yeah, so people again, who are used to 40k like, will be able to... Yeah, and it's like, you know, if I have somebody that's not as strong, there's still a chance that I'm taking out the tougher fighter. So. Oh, okay. Maybe there's a bonus for that or something, you know. He gets an extra skill or oh, who knows. Oh, that'd be great. Like, what was the underdog bonuses back <laughs> right? then? Right. Maybe that, nice. that'll be another thing. So, Plus okay, here we have this. Successfully recovering subsequent. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. out of action. Just, yeah, remove from play. Yep. Uh, flesh wound and serious injury. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's death yet, right? Uh... So, so it's just out of action is probably the skull, right? Yeah, and I think the serious injury, um, if it was causing close combat and the attack is not, or attack was not engaged with other fighters, it talks about that free oh the coup de gras, coup de gras action again. And I, I do like that they've listed like where to reference some of these rules. Like it says, see page fifty-seven, you know, for that a serious injury. See page forty-three. So oh, okay. They're kind of guiding people in the direction they need to go to keep gameplay going. Okay. So. That's kind of nice. I, I do like that. And they did that throughout this this whole little That's good. quick reference guide. It just tells you where to go on the one side there to uh, find what it is you're looking for. In lieu for. of not having hyperlinks. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Hyperlink. <laughs> and then we got the rule book right. right here. So the battery's just about to die. So <laughs> let's just take a quick breeze. All right, thing. yeah. Um, so this looks... Amazing. I love that they kept the motif. I remember in the old book, like they had those like spiny rats throughout the. Yeah, then th that'll probably be a thing later on, I think. So, oh, okay. Um, the what artwork of this. Who the rat guys? The scabies? Uh, the, uh, the rat skin renegades. Oh, okay, that's right. If I remember right. So, basic contents, just the artwork that oh, I've seen okay. is just that looks really cool. Uh -huh. I really like that that look. Sticking that, with the illustration. Yeah, exactly. Man, cannot wait to get into this. <laughs> they, uh, hopefully they've gone a little bit more into some story and some depth about behind 
a lot more than I remember previously. So. Okay. Oh, good. Unseen trade. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on here, it looks like. Different cities, different hives. Uh, oh, cool. So just, here's a fluff on it. Yeah. Later on, I'll talk about. Yep. Probably different. Yeah, the different hives right here. So that's kind of cool. And then the Lord of Necromunda. He's, oh. he's big in this. So maybe there'll be a model for him down the line somewhere. Okay. Um, oh, who's that guy? I don't know, but he looks House mean. Glide. <laughs> Formerly, hmm, I wonder if he went like hired gun or something there. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it already starts to break down the houses here, the clan houses. Um, and yeah, it's just really looks like a really nice book here. Ooh, I like that. That's like the best way to Belladonna, so she's a hired gun that you can get okay. later yeah, on. Looks like a Oh yeah, her bionic leg kind of like there. Like a rust docker. Yeah, if I remember right, she was pretty nasty in the game, so and there should be scenarios in here. Uh, that, I have fun yeah. this. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good thing to get. <laughs> There's your death guard right there. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want a penicillin shot after that. <laughs> or is it maybe it'll work. <laughs> so yeah, see, so the rat skin raids oh, right okay. there. So they, they talk about some of this stuff already. Uh -huh. And just really love that artwork. So breaks down characteristics right here. So leadership, CL is oh, cool. cool okay. uh, Cool represents their capacity for keeping calm under fire, okay, willpower, leadership. and initiative. So yeah, so that's what that is. So the, I guess the the higher that is, the calmer they stay in a oh, gunfight. Okay. Oh. So I would imagine like Goliath is probably pretty low because they just <laughs> kind of go running in, guns yeah. blazing. So. Um, so the thing I'm really curious to see is if they have the rules for the other games outside of the first two in here. So. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look. Okay. Let's kind of jump back and see booby traps. So general weapon stats, okay. it looks like. Stub guns, power swords. This looks like a, a taste. Like, it, it feels like they're going to, like this might just be the introductory level. And then, we'll, you know, as you were saying, there's more stuff outside of this. There's so. definitely going to be more stuff. Maybe the next so book will have. Funding your gang. Okay. So this would be. Oh, okay, starting your gang. Yep, House Goliath. Um, let's see who else is in here. So do they. House Escher, obviously, because that's the two. So it looks like those might be the only two. Oh, okay. So now you have to get the, the so, book to expand. Yep, exactly. Okay. So there's going to be something else to expand, which means I may not be able to play my Deluxe right oh. away, which is okay. Yeah. That just means I'll, I'll use these Goliaths and get them ready to go. <laughs> and then we got scenarios in the back. Yeah. So and it looks like these scenarios are laid out for the tiles themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere there's rules for playing with like 3D terrain uh, where you would take into effect falling off ledges and okay. things like that. So that's got to be in here as well. I would I would hope. Yeah. All right, yeah. Sweet. I'm digging it, man. This is cool. I'm loving it. So some uh, of the other things, if you happen to run down to your local store, uh, Gene here had uh, some range rulers that looked like they're specific for this. Um, there's also some character cards. She had a pile of these, so it looks like your local store might have additional champions and leaders. And, and actually, it looks like some of these are uh, what we saw earlier. I remember uh, Jelena's part of that. Yep. Uh, yep. These are all named. They named all of the shiny the gamers and leaders in this edition, which okay. I don't believe they did before. No. So it, that's kind of cool because you can just play those guys and go from there or create your own. Cool. <laughs> was that, that, was, that was the end of my battery pack. <laughs> On the way over, I was like, oh, I really should. Oh, why did I leave it? Oh, no. <laughs> so I'll have to do a quick outro. Man, home, but this so, box is insane. Uh, but we still have the Twitch. <laughs> so also, it looks like some. Uh, uh, we were talking about earlier, you said roster like, sheets. Like, a lot like the old roster sheets. Yep. They were just much smaller before. So uh, this is kind of nice. They're a little bit larger. Uh, looks like you can expand your game quite a bit. Oh, okay. Um, not sure. I'm seeing some things I didn't see before. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Unless I miscounted. So that's, I remember, what was it, like 12 on the last sheet? I think 12 is about okay. right, 10 or 12. So, so yeah, maybe you can build your game fairly large in a, a ongoing campaign of oh, some okay. sort. So 
the thing I noticed different here that I'm seeing already is like you've always had your gang rating. Uh-huh. Um, now it's been a while. Reputation and, and turf size. Oh, um, cool. Those seem new to me, so maybe that's something completely different that they've added in. I think that was as like well. with, with Shadow Wars. Like I was kind of afraid, you know, like they were saying how that was going to be like Necromunda for 40k, and it was like you know they were left a lot of that stuff out of it. Like, yeah. Oh, bummer. I hope they don't do that thing in Necromunda, but it looks like they you added more rules, perhaps. I mean, maybe, and you still got your stash and your territories. You okay. can work. You can work so many territories. At least you used to, based off of the number of. Uh, Gangers who survived the battle mm. could work the territories, earn credit. So, credit's how you keep your gang functioning. So, yeah. more credit you get, the better. Oh, that's sweet. That's dope. You excited? I am so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to get playing again. I'm going to get this thing and get that rule book read. And, yeah. Because uh, enough has changed. I think it's going to it's gonna take a little time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I keep like looking at that logo that they have, like the uh, the, the skull ga- gas mask yeah. kind of thing. And I kind of want to get a tattoo of that. I really, <laughs> like, that looks dope. <laughs> I can see somebody doing something that yeah. like that. That's it's pretty cool. I don't know. Part of me wants to put it on like my neck. So <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little, I won't do that, little rough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that well, might be a little so extreme. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gary. This Absolutely, is a lot of thank fun. you. So, I'm, de- I'm definitely glad that uh, we had a, an aficionado <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> that might be pushing a little bit. But no, this has been great. And thank you to Gene at Tier 1. Absolutely. For thank us, you, Gene. Uh, take a look at these. So, we will be licking these before we give them back. <laughs> <laughs>